comfortably. Relax your hands over your knees. Maybe roll your shoulders back, roll them forwards. Roll your head. Take any movements that you might want to take to make your body and your neck and your spine comfortable. We're going to start our practice today with um, a little centering, a breath and a breathing exercise and then we start our asana practice. So close your eyes and just feel what's present. Today is Diwali, the festival of light. And it's always good to allow the light within us to shine out, to illuminate our path. And Diwali is a celebration where you light candles and put fairy lights and whatever you might have to brighten up the darkening days. So happy Diwali. Allow this light to come in and bring abundance and prosperity to your home to your life. And this is a good time to also do a bit of cleansing, cleansing of the body, of the mind, of your house. Lakshmi is the goddess that is related to these celebrations. And Lakshmi likes to be in an orderly space. So the cleansing can be also through fasting, through letting go of something, maybe a bit of chocolate. <laughs> Just think about it. And perhaps implement it in your life. put an intention for this practice today. Bring your hands towards your heart, open your eyes and bow your heads saying Namaste. Today we're going to go back to basics and sync our bodies with our minds. And the main instrument that we have to sync body and mind is our breath. So I want you to just put your right hand onto your chest and left hand onto your belly. And we're going to inhale and exhale a little bit forcefully just to, to feel the breath and to be aware of it and to get, start cleansing their nostrils and everything. So inhale, exhale. You can close your eyes, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let your belly expand as you inhale. Press it in as you exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, change the hands, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Keep your eyes closed and breathe normally. 
through your nose, in and up through your nose. You might feel a little bit dizzy. That's normal if you are bringing more oxygen. You might feel that nice dizziness. This is the yogic wine. <laughs> Good. And we're going to use this breath to combine with our movement. So open your eyes, roll over your ankles and come into all fours. If you want to have a cushion underneath your knees, you can, a cushion or a blanket. I might put a blanket. Always protect your body and make it feel as comfortable as you can be. One get we stand into all fours. We make sure that our hands are underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. Middle finger is pointing forwards. Now check where your body is. You don't want to let your belly drop towards the floor, neither you want to be tucking. Your neutral position is just in the middle. It shouldn't be a lot of effort, it should be quite simple to do. And close your eyes and feel the breath going from the crown of the head to your tailbone. Working with our breath is what differentiates yoga from any other type of exercise. So every time that you move with awareness, syncing your breath with your movement, you are practicing your yoga. How amazing is that? Now let's see if we can inhale deeply as we are in the neutral position. And exhale, tuck your tailbone under, chin to chest, forehead comes in, crown of the head towards the floor. And as you inhale, let your body come back to neutral. So exhale, cat stretch like an angry cat, arching your back, tailbone under, chin to chest, push, push, push. And inhale, bring it back to centre. One more. Exhale, tuck. Can you push your hands onto the floor? Can you feel your knees pushing onto the ground? Maybe move a little bit side to side and inhale. Release. So what we're doing here is retaining a little bit. So if you have excel on your breath and if you have excel all of your breath but you still want to stretch a little bit more, hold that exhalation, hollow in your belly. Okay. Check your elbows, check that your elbows are facing forwards. And now, from the neutral position, from here, we're going to exhale first and then inhale, arch and look up. Exhale and your back is back to neutral. And look up as you inhale. That's it. Inhaling and exhaling. When you are inhaling, let your belly be loose. Let your upper body be completely relaxed towards the floor. So. And as you exhale, you are contracting your abdomen. Good. Now, coming back to centre, we're going to put the two together. Let's see if we, can, if we can really feel that we are moving with our breath. So we inhale and exhale to prepare. Then inhale from neutral. 
Exhale. Pelvic floor in and up. Push your hands onto the floor. Chin to chest. Arch your back. And inhale. Open your chest. Looking up. Expanding your rib cage and your belly. And arching back. Arch, arch, arch. As you exhale. Inhale, expand. Keep going. Inhaling and exhaling. Moving with your breath. Whenever I'm leading the inhale and exhale, sometimes I think, well, I'm not sure that people breathe at that, at that pace. So just let your own breath guide you. Okay, good. Now, bring your toes together, your knees apart, and stretch yourselves back. But look at this. We're going to stretch into a child's pose, holding onto the mat to push our bodies back onto the child's pose. So hold it sides of the mat. You can be a little bit further forwards, and then Push, push onto the mat as if you were trying to split the mat with your hands, forehead on the floor, and then release and let yourselves rest with your hands underneath your forehead. Inhale, lift your chest, tuck your toes under, and come up into your downward, into your forward fold, holding your elbows and let your upper body release side to side. Release your elbows, rolling up into standing. Your head is the last thing to come up. Good. Roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forwards. So for some reason Simone got disconnected. I was trying to see if I could let her back in. If I come back into to the screen is because she might be on the waiting room. All right, so we're going to now do a sun salutation, one leg and then the other, but really trying to concentrate on that breath. So we're going to go really slowly, using the breath to guide us. This is like yoga back to basics. We want to get the breath and movement happening, which is what we need to do always in our yoga practice. We'll go in the diagonal a little bit. Good. Have your feet hip distance or together. Shoulders back and down. Inhale, hands by the sides of your body. Keep your pelvic floor in and up. And bring your arms up. Stretch towards the sky. Have a full inhale and exhale here. And then bring your hands through the middle of your body. Coming down towards the floor. Release your head. Your legs are straight. Bring your hands onto your shins and have a full inhale and exhale here. Then bring your fingertips by the sides of your feet. Bring your right leg back. Full inhale. Full exhale. Hands onto the floor, bring your left leg back, coming into plank. Full inhale. Full exhale. Now when we're coming down into Chaturanga, we are exhaling, so inhale to prepare. 
knees onto the floor, bend your elbows, exhale deeply. Release your belly onto the floor. When we go into Cobra, we want to be inhaling. So have an exhale before you move into Cobra. Shoulders back and down, inhale. Your belly's on the floor, your elbows are bent. Full inhale, full exhale in Cobra. And release down. Tuck your toes, you can come through your knees. Normally when we go into a downward facing dog, we're going to be exhaling. So inhale wherever you are. Exhale, down dog. Bring your right leg up. Inhale and exhale fully. Now on an inhale, we're going to move the right foot between our hands. And exhale, full inhale, full exhale. Inhale before we move. And exhale, fold forwards, bringing the back leg forwards, head towards your shins. Inhale, hands onto your shins and flatten your back. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, coming up. Exhale. Release. So there is a logic to our inhale and exhale. In general, we're going to inhale when we're expanding away from the body and we're going to exhale as we're coming towards the body. As we go faster in our asana practice, you will need to internalize this inhale and exhale. However, for now, just feel it. Feel the breath, feel where your body is. When you're going back to basics, you have time to explore what your body and your mind, what your mind is doing. Inhale, arms up, baby back bend, interlace your fingers, Middle fingers pointed upwards, full inhale, full exhale. One more inhale, and as you exhale, you come towards your legs, forward fold. Use your Ujjayi breath if you know it. Inhale, flatten your back, your hands can be onto your shins. If your back is arched, you can even have your hands above your knees. Don't lock it on your knees. Just try to fill one line between the crown of the head and your tailbone. And exhale, soften your legs and fall forwards again. Bring your left leg back. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. So if we were doing this as a flow, this will be one inhalation. Push your back heel away. Be fully on this low lunge or runner's lunge. And bring your hands onto the floor. Bring the right leg back into plank. Full inhale. Full exhale. Check that your hips are between your shoulders and your heels. Collect, lift your hips a little bit and, and lower your hips just a little bit. Yes. Bring your knees onto the floor. Keep your belly engaged. Pelvic floor in and up. Inhale deeply. And on an exhalation, we're going to come down towards the floor. Be on this position until you empty your lungs. Then deposit your belly onto the floor. You can inhale and exhale to prepare. Now on an inhale, we come into Cobra. Shoulders back and down, elbows towards each other. Middle finger pointing forwards. Inhale. Full inhale. Full exhale. Inhale. Full exhale. Full inhale. Full exhale. 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 Inhale.
full exhale. And release down. Tuck your toes under. Inhale. Let's see if we can go into a down dog on the exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right, uh, left leg up, sorry, right leg towards the floor. Push your hands into the floor, let your chest go towards your thighs. Look towards your hands and on an inhalation, bring your hand, bring your foot between your hands, opening your chest, lowering your hip and bring the back foot forwards, flat back, exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, come all the way up. Baby back bend, exhale, release. Hello, Simone, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Sorry if I let them um, make you wait. We were just in the middle of the sun salutation. Good. So, come into standing, inhaling and exhaling on the sun salutations. Good. So we're going to go a little bit faster, trying to do one breath per movement. But at the same time, we're going to go with a slow breath. So we don't want to be out of breath. We want to move with fluidity through all of the positions of this sun salutation, but not get out of breath. Let's see if we can do that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flatten your back. Exhale, soften your knees, hands by the sides of your feet. Right leg back, inhale. Hands onto the floor, leg back, left leg back into plank. Exhale as we lower down. Release your belly onto the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes and come up into down dog. Inhale, right leg up and bring the foot between your hands. This is one inhalation. That's it. Help it if you need to. Too. And exhale, bring the back foot forwards, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale. Release. Good, ready, ready for the other leg. Inhale. Baby back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Fold again towards your legs, bend your knees, hands by the sides of your feet, and left leg back. Inhale in your low lunge. Hands onto the floor, right leg back into plank. Knees, chest and chin, chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, look towards your hands, left foot between your hands. This is one inhalation. And bring the back foot forwards, exhale. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Take a moment here in Tadasana and Samastitihi. Catching your breath and just digesting these movements that we were doing, this sequence of breath and movement. So now to challenge ourselves, I know you more or less know the sequence now. Challenge ourselves 
I'm only going to say inhale and exhale. So try to internalize your salutation, try to do it from within. If you get lost, you can look at the, at the screen and see what I'm doing. But if not, if you feel like feeling your body, like feeling your movement with your breath, make it up. It doesn't matter. It's just a way of using your whole body and sinking your body with your mind and your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Full inhale and full exhale in this space. And observe as well if there are times where maybe you're moving your leg or your arm and you're holding your breath. Holding your breath is an indication that you might be maybe pushing it too far or in the wrong position. And most likely you might be thinking of something else. So be back, be observant. Doesn't matter if you think of something else, it's normal but just bring yourself back to the practice. Let's do it with the left leg leading. I'm only going to say inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now, the last round, we are going to do it by ourselves. I will be doing it with you, so if you get lost, you can look to the screen. But I'm not going to be calling anything. And you're going to have time to be fully with your breath, fully with your movement. So you might notice that sometimes maybe you're in a low lunge and you want to stay there with a full lung. And try not to rush going into plank. And maybe you come into plank and chaturanga and you think, oh gosh, I still have exhalation and I'm losing my, my way because I, this is too heavy. Try to hold it until your lung is completely empty. And then you come into Cobra and fill your lungs. And what happens? Is there an urge to move because you want to exhale? Just observe that. And exhale in the down dog. In down dog, I'm going to allow you, if you want, to have a full inhale and exhale. Then you move back into 
low lunge and that's an inhalation exhalation inhale and exhale so we're going to do it right leg leading first left leg leading second as I said if you want to use your creativity and make up your own sun salutation you can do that and let this sun salutation be a sync with your internal light today in Diwali let that light of the sun from your solar plexus shine out start when you're ready When you have finished, take a moment just to breathe. And feel grounded. I find that when I sync my breath with my movement, I feel more grounded. So we're going to add some balancing postures. If you want to, you can turn around to look towards the screen. I will stay sideways. My mat is in a diagonal anyway, so you will know what I'm going to be. You will see what I'm going to be doing, what we're going to be doing. So again, working with the breath, we're going to bring the right knee towards the chest and then go into a warrior three. So just feel your legs on the floor, feel your body swaying side to side a little bit. And then bring your hands together onto your heart, focusing on a moving point in front of you. Let your weight be on your left leg and bring your right knee towards your chest. Feel that expansion from your crown of the head to your left heel and the right knee is close towards your chest and know this is effortful try to see if you can have effortless effort inhale here and exhale soften your standing leg bring in the right leg back and bring your arms forwards your palms can be together or apart into your warrior three. 
flex the back heel, the back foot. Inhale, bring yourselves back to center. Exhale, expand into warrior three. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, expand. Inhale, back to center. And let the foot rest onto your calf muscle or your ankle or above your knee for your tree pose. Hello, Willow. Breathe deeply. So we are placing our right foot onto our left leg for tree pose. And bring your arms up. Separate your hands. And can you be a strong tree and have your branches move inside? to side with your breath. Maybe inhaling in the middle, exhaling as you go to one side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, hands back to center. And release your hands, release your legs. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Good. Let's try the other side. So if you feel that your ankle, your left ankle is a little bit demanded upon, just um, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Good. I will be giving you half of my, my back on this one just to give you a different perspective. Always good to change perspectives. So, left leg, we're going to be standing on the left leg. Go side to side, just feeling where your body is. Try to bring your body in the middle. And as you inhale, bring your right, uh, your left knee up towards your chest. Your right leg is firmly on the floor. Breathe deeply. Engage your pelvic floor as well. So as you inhale, lift the knee closer to your chest. And as you exhale, soften your standing leg. Bring the leg back and bring your arms forwards into your warrior three. Your hands can be together or apart. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, expand. Flex the foot, the left foot. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, expand. One more. Knee to chest. Don't worry if you lose your balance. Just go with it. And exhale. Bring your foot either onto your calf muscle or your inner thigh. Or you can have the foot just touching the floor and your heel onto your, onto your ankle. So that we're working with the left leg. I'm not mirroring you like right now, I'm doing it just like you. So left foot onto your right knee. And focusing an unmoving point in front of you. Calm in the mind from the movement. Inhale, bring your arms up. And then see if you can go side to side with your breath. Inhaling in the middle, exhaling as you go side. There is no right or wrong way of doing this one. You're just finding the expansion and the balance. So don't fight your balance. If you find that you're falling off, then you should have your foot touching the floor and the, and the heel on the ankle. 
and then bring your hands towards your heart, focusing a non-moving point in front of you. And release your arms, release your legs, good. Shake it, shake it. And we're going to go down onto the ground. Feet hip distance, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, flatten your back. And as you exhale, come into a squat. And have your arms forwards. Maybe your fingertips are on the floor. Feeling your lower back stretching. You can bring your chin towards your chest. Maybe bring your hands behind your back. And how does that feel? Now bring your hands in front of you. Open your knees. Your chest is fitting between your knees. Stretching your lower back even more. And then deposit your bottom on the ground with elegance. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Normally what happens is, whee, good. Bring your chest open and bring yourselves into Navasana. Breathe deeply. Your tailbone is towards the ground. Your shoulders are open and relaxed. And extend the legs if it's available to you, flexing your feet for 10, 9, 8, your option is with your knees bent, 7, don't hold your legs, 6, 5, arms to the side, 4, arms up, 3, 2, 1, hands to your heart, and cross your legs. So we're going to do a slow vinyasa, going with the breath. Inhale, exhale, come forwards, hands underneath your knees, push up and bring your legs back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look towards your hands and step or jump into sitting. Good. Bring your legs the width of the mat. Adjust the flesh underneath your buttocks. Flex your feet. Your toes are pointing towards the ceiling. Breathe deeply. Inhale, bring your arms up and stretch your upper body, climbing with your hands towards the sky. Look up, and as you exhale, bring your left hand onto your right ankle, and your right hand outside the mat. Expand your chest, and then you can hold onto the outside of the foot, or onto the ankle, onto the calf muscle, wherever you can. Fingertips on your right hand are like a spider. So you expand and as you exhale, bend both elbows. Trying to bring your ear to your knee. And with your right hand, you push yourselves back. The tendency will be to go towards the floor, but anchor your left hip towards the floor as we were doing in warm up with a with the child's pose, pushing on the mat. Now we're pushing on the floor. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, go to the other side. So fingertips on your left hand are on the floor. Your right hand is holding the outside of your left foot, left ankle or calf muscle. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend both, both elbows. Bringing your ear towards your knee, rotating and at the same time stretching and anchoring your hip. Inhale, bringing your arms up 
and exhale, hands to centre. Bring your legs together and we're going to do a vinyasa from a rock and roll. So vinyasas are always optional. If you feel tired, just stay seated. We're going to come back into sitting. Doing a rock and roll on your back for a vinyasa will give you a bit more impulse. So watch first if you want and then we can do it together. We're going to arch the back, rock and roll the back three times. And on the third one, we're going to cross the shins, bring the chest forwards, hands underneath the knees, push back into plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, and back into seating. So let's try it together. Rock and rolling, as I said, is optional. If you don't want to do it, just stay seated. Rocking back. Rocking forwards for one and back and forwards for two. Now on the third one we cross the shins, come forwards, hands underneath and back. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. And come back into sitting. Good. Bring your feet together, knees apart feet far away from your hips so you're having a diamond shape this is the turtle pose so we are not in Baddha Konasana Baddha Konasana is bound ankle pose and in here your feet are very close to your to your uh, pubic bone and this is the one that sometimes we call butterfly this one is different is Turtle pose, your legs are like a diamond shape. And what we're going to do in here is to slow down the breath and the nervous system. So bring your hands either over your feet or underneath your shins and let your forehead release down towards your feet. When we do a, a vinyasa, our heart rate rises and this is partly the objective of it. Today we're focusing on this sinking of the breath with movement and we want to calm down the breath so that we can focus on it. And the turtles are in the animal kingdom one of the animals that can live for the longest. And one of the reasons the yogi believe that is the case is because the turtle is capable of breathing really slowly. And the ones that go underwater can hold the breath for long periods of time. Can you visualize this turtles or turtle? And imagine that you are it. That you are slow in your breath. And you are majestically swimming underwater and very gently walk your hands away from underneath your legs cross your legs or sit in any comfortable seated position we're going to do a final pranayama, so if you wanted to turn around you can. And then we're going to go into our final relaxation. I will come a little bit closer. I'm using a block to sit onto so that I am comfortable. And yes, if you want to put on your socks or your sweatshirt, remember that staying warm for your shavasana is the trick to actually relax and bring your index fingers towards the base of your thumbs yeah? so it's like saying like that but instead we're bringing we're making the hole a smaller and bringing the index finger to the base of the thumb this mudra helps to open up our 
lungs and our breathing. So we're going to relax the hands over the knees. Let me go a little bit further back so that you can see my hands. And we want to sink the movement and breath in this last pranayama exercise. So we're going to bring the thumb to close one nostril and then the other. We're going to start closing the right nostril. I'm not going to be mirroring you, so go to your right. This is my right. And then we're going to exchange and go towards the left. The thumb, the, the nail of the thumb or the side of the thumb closes the nostril gently and you exhale through the open nostril or inhale through the open nostril. So inhale through both nostrils. Bring your right thumb to your right nostril, exhale fully through your left. Inhale left. Hold the breath as you're changing hands, closing your left nostril with your left thumb, exhale right. Inhale right. Hold the breath as you exchange your hands and bring your right thumb to your right nostril, exhale left. Inhale left. Hold the breath as you change, exhale right. Inhale right. Hold and change. Exhale. We're going to do two more cycles by ourselves. When you finish these two cycles, relax your hands over your knees. You can keep the mudra still held. If you wish, you can go into Shavasana. If you feel in the zone, you can stay seated. If you go into Shavasana, you don't need to hold your mudra. We only have minutes or so. So wherever you're at, just feel centered, sense the right and left nostril. Witness that gentle breathing, gentle ebb and flow.
unless you're at home, if you want to stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer, feel free to stay lying down. I'm going to close the class with three ohms and shanties. If you're still holding your mudra, you can let go and bring your hands towards your heart. Make sure that your chin is slightly tagged in, as if you had a smile underneath your your chin, your chin. And you can smile to yourselves. We've done a good mindful practice. Bring to mind the intention that you put at the beginning of the class. If you're still lying down, you can chant from where you are or you can just repeat mentally. Inhale to begin, inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om peace, peace, peace. Rub your palms together. Make the movement a little faster, generating prana between your hands. And place your palms over your face. Inhale deep. Open your eyes to the darkness of your hands. Slide your hands to your chest and bow your head. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Give yourself a little clap. Well done. Well done, well done. Ask if you have any questions.